So today is February 18th and I'm working on uh, painting the dock. So I'm going to be um, putting this soft sand um, material as a non-skid on the places where you know I expect to be walking. So I've taped out that area here um, and basically just um, put a little border because um, it's nice to have a, a place where you don't have the gritty um, stuff around the edges because um, the dirt and things um, tend to accumulate on those edges just makes it easier to, to clean that if it, and it plus it looks more professional so um, so I've taped out that space I'm going to be uh, wetting this out with some uh, white paint um, just because I've got it and I want to um, use it up and um, its only purpose is really just to stick this stuff down on it and then I'll be putting a couple of coats of green over it um, so this will probably be the green uh, color that I'm using uh, it seems to go well with the um, stuff I've done on the cabin sides this isn't done yet but it looks like it'll work nicely with that um, and also up here it looks like that color will work nicely with the um, main hall too so um, yeah, just getting ready to do that today. Um, the other thing on the uh, rudder is, um, so I um, basically covered it with uh, the um, thickened epoxy uh, with a whole lot of graphite in it. You can see it's just graphite powder um, and um, you can see it rotates nicely on the, on the shaft. So, um, loosen it up a little bit more but um, it worked pretty worked pretty well it, um, basically let the epoxy cure for about five hours and then uh, um, put the uh, rudder in this big vise that I've got and just grabbed the top part of it and gave it a, a twist and um, popped it loose so that's um, working pretty well so the other side of the the other piece of plywood has to go on here so I got to sand this down put the piece of plywood on it and um, wrap the edges and cover it with fiberglass, but um, the rudder cassette is coming along pretty nicely. So, yeah, it rotates on the shaft pretty well. That's it for today.